Hi, it's Ari. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy and simple paper hot air balloon. My hot air balloon is using three different colors. So I only need three pieces of colorful construction paper. But if you want, you can use up to six different colors. If you look at mine, you'll see that I have two orange, two pink, and two blue. For this project, you're going to need three to six colorful pieces of construction paper, some string, liquid glue and a glue stick, both, scissors, a hole punch, a pencil, a ruler, any kind of ruler is fine, some tape. We're gonna start by prepping all of the pieces that we're going to use for this project before we put anything together. So, first, cut one piece of string 24 inches long. That's what you'll need your ruler for. You could also use a measuring tape. 24 inches long that we're going to double, and that's gonna be used for this part of the hot air balloon, the part that you're hanging it with. And you're gonna cut two six and a half inch long pieces of string. That's gonna be used to hang your little hot air balloon basket here. So it's gonna to need to be six and a half inches long so you can tie it here and here. Now we want to cut out our air balloon pieces. So I'm gonna link a template for you below, but if you don't want to waste time printing out, all you have to do is make your own. I'll show you how to do that. You take your piece of paper, and you're going to fold it in half. You actually only need to go about three inches in, and you can cut out two pieces on one piece of paper. I'll show you. So I'm gonna mark three inches in from the edge of the paper. So the paper, I'm looking at it, and it's gonna be horizontal. Okay, then I'm gonna make a line all the way down, three inches in. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna fold those two pieces. I'm gonna fold those two pieces on the line like this. So now you have a piece of paper like this. And the reason you're doing it three inches in is because unless you want a really big hot air balloon, you really only need three inches. I have a template that I already made, which is five and a quarter inches wide this way, and six inches long this way, and one and a half inches wide down here. Again, I'll link a template below for you if you'd like to use that. If you don't want to use the template and you don't want to measure something so specific like this, all you have to do is take your folded piece of paper and draw your own hot air balloon however you want. And you're only drawing half a hot air balloon because when you unfold it, it'll be a whole thing. So whichever piece you're cutting out first is gonna be your template. So see, that was easy. I didn't even need to print a template. I didn't need to measure. But if you'd like the exact measurements that I use, they are available for you. So now, I'm just gonna cut out my hot air balloon on the fold.
go slow because you want to make sure it's nice and round if possible. There we go. Okay, so now this is going to be your template. You have to figure out what colors you want to use. That's totally up to you. So whichever colors you want to use, you'll cut out as many of each, but you'll still use the same one for all, cutting all of them out. This is going to be your template. You can use whatever colors you'd like, but just use the same one to cut out all of the pieces. That way you know that they're all the exact same shape and they'll fit easier into one another. We want it to fit perfectly, like that. So, remember how we folded two sides of the paper? Now you know why. Go ahead and cut out the rest of your pieces. So now when I want to cut out my second piece, I'm just going to trace the one that I already made on top of this one. And I'm just going to cut that out and then I'm going to cut, cut out a total of six pieces, just like this, okay? You're also going to need one rectangle, which you're going to then use as your little basket. This can honestly be whatever size you'd like. It's up to you. My basket is four and a half inches by two inches. So if you'd like to do the one that's the same size as mine, four and a half inches wide, two inches in height. Once that's cut out, you're ready to start gluing. I'm gonna pick a color, I'm gonna start gluing the back of my glue stick. But when I start gluing the back, I wanna make sure that the side that I'm gluing has the crease facing up, like this. I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm just gonna start gluing one half of it, all the way. Then I'm gonna pick another color it's going to be a different color from this because I want the colors to rotate. I want it to be every other. So I'll take my blue. And I'm also going to put glue on one side of it. But I'm going to first just see how it matches up. If you put glue on this side, it doesn't match up, does it? Right? So you're going to kind of use your common sense and make sure that it's crease to crease. Like this. Crease to crease. And then you're gonna take the side that's glued on the orange and you're gonna glue that same side on your blue. So in other words, opposite sides. You'll see why. Now I'm just gonna put both pieces together really nicely and evenly. I'm gonna start like this. Matching them up. So that I want to make sure that they're matched up perfectly. As nicely as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Here we are. This is what we started with. Our next color, so my third color is pink. And we're gonna do the same thing we just did. So we have blue orange and pink. So I'm going to pick which side I want to glue it onto. I'm going to glue it onto the orange one so that we go blue, orange, pink. So now I have to look and see which sides I'm going to glue and that's going to be these two, right? It's helpful to kind of lay it down that way and that's what you should do. That's what I'm going to do. You catching on a little bit? Okay, so now I'm gonna match those two pieces up. Ok, 
Okay, so now we have half of our hot air balloon. So now that we're at our halfway point, there's something I want you to do. I want you to take the two pieces that are not glued together, these two open pieces, lay it flat. Now I want you to take your string, your 24 inch long string, that's the longest piece you cut, okay? Remember, we need to use it to attach it here and hang it like this, all right? So we're gonna take just one piece. We're not gonna double it up yet. And I'm gonna glue it to, I'm gonna pick a color that I'm gonna glue it to right at the edge. So I'm gonna pick blue. I'm gonna take my liquid Elmer's glue, or if you wanna use hot glue, that's totally fine. And I'm gonna glue it right along the edge here. Very carefully put your string onto the glue. I'm just gonna tap it in there so I know that it's gonna be nice and secure. And of course, you wanna let that dry. Okay? So now we're gonna put our first half aside. We're gonna do the same exact thing one more time. So I'm gonna take my blue. And then orange, and then pink, right? Orange laying down with the crease facing up, blue on the right, pink on the left. Okay, look at this. And that way, when you do match them up eventually, see how they're gonna be the same? And then when you match them up, it'll be string to string. Right? Let's test it out before we glue it. And look at that. We've got oranges opposite, blues opposite, pink opposite. Okay, so now we know how we're gonna glue it. So we're gonna let the one we've already done dry. Okay, I'm gonna flip over so that my orange is now on the table. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of just leave my pieces ready to go. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna glue it together. Okay, so this piece goes here, right? So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gluing the right side. Take it slow because you don't want to get confused if you do want your colors to be in a specific order like I do. But they can also be totally random if that's what you prefer. Okay, and this one fits here. Right. So we're going to glue the orange. Now you have your second half ready. And you want to do the same thing that you just did with this one. You want to take your string, it's already connected to this one, right? So it's going to go like this. So we're going to make sure that these two pieces end up like this, right? So that means we're going to take our glue 
we're gonna glue it again, same way we just did on the blue on the crease. So now is a good time to let this dry. I'm gonna keep going just for the sake of keeping the video moving, but it's probably a good idea to let that string dry as long as possible. Then once it is dry, you're basically just gonna glue these two halves together. go half on top of half Carefully open all of our sides to double check that everything's correct. Make sure everything's matching up nicely. Here we go. Top half done. Now all we have to do is while we let this dry, we have to make our little basket. This part's very simple. Okay, take your glue stick, you're gonna just put a little bit of glue on one side just on the end, right like that, right here. And then you're gonna put a little glue on the other side. So you're gonna flip it. So I have glue right here. And then instead of putting it over here, I'm gonna flip it and put some glue here. Okay, and then you're gonna fold it together like this. You can also use hot glue or liquid glue if you'd like. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on each end just to make sure that it stays secure. Up to you if you'd like to do the same. Okay, so now our basket is put together. And if you want, you can even cut out a circle about this size and tape that onto the bottom too, but it's not necessary. So then you're gonna take your hole punch you're gonna look for your crease, that's gonna be the back of your hot air balloon. And you're gonna put a hole punch on each side. So if this is the center, you wanna put a hole punch here and here. And you're gonna do it pretty close to the top, like this. Okay. That makes sense? Then you're gonna take your hot air balloon, and you're gonna choose which is gonna be the front, which is gonna be the back. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because this thing's gonna move around a lot. So you're basically gonna just pick two sides. This side and this side, this side and this side, this side and this side, whichever one you want. I'm gonna just make sure they're parallel to each other. And you're gonna put hole punch holes in. Like about there. So see how I didn't put a hole here and here, or here and here? Put them across from each other. Because then when you hang your basket, it's gonna make a lot more sense. Okay, so now the last step, you're gonna take your string and you're gonna put it in the hole on the basket and you're gonna just tie that together. Easy peasy. You're gonna take your other piece of string and you're gonna tie that to the other side.
And then you're gonna tie those same pieces of string to the holes that you just punched in your hot air balloon. You want to try and make sure that the string is even because sometimes when you tie knots, you can tie it like one piece of the string shorter than the other and then when it hangs, it's going to hang uneven. So you want to try to do the best you can at making both lengths of the string the same. But it doesn't have to be perfect and it probably won't be and that is okay. Okay, so I'm gonna trim off the little, little pieces of string that I don't need, just to make it look much nicer. And then once everything is dry, your hot air balloon is complete. Now we're done with our hot air balloon. Thank you so much for coming and creating with me. I hope you all enjoy your hot air balloons. But don't forget, these can be hung anywhere in the house that you'd like. So make as many as you want. See you next time.